The usual status quo remains in the north of the enclave. Hamas militants are launching attacks, and Israelis are conducting massive bombardments. There are no signs of a resumption of intense fighting in this part of Gaza Strip yet. From time to time, Palestinian units launch rockets at nearby settlements. Ashkelon and Sterot were under fire, but all munitions was either intercepted by air defense systems or fell in an open area. Israelis have slightly reduced the intensity of fighting near the isthmus between the northern and southern parts of the enclave. Israeli forces continue to occasionally attack in the area of al Maghazi and al Buraj, but they are unable to make significant progress. In the south, IDF units are expanding the control zone around Khan Yunus, as well as in the vicinity of al Amal Hospital. Palestinian units are trying to break through the encirclement, but Israelis successfully stop all attacks. At the same time, the Israeli command continues to open corridors for the evacuation of Khan Yunus residents. Convoys of Palestinian civilians are moving along Gush Katif Road in the direction of Al Mawazi camp, where fighting is not yet underway. In Western Bank, Israeli security forces again conducted another series of police raids, arresting several dozen people. Severe clashes broke out in Kalkilia, where militants fired at several IDF armored vehicles by small firearms. Tense situation on Lebanese-Israeli border has significantly escalated. The reason was, the Israeli Air Force strikes on several targets in the rear areas of southern Lebanon, including Hezbollah military complex in Deir Amez. In response, the group's fighters worked on numerous targets along the entire border, which has already been dubbed the Night of Fire. Mainly, Israeli strongholds and military bases were chosen as targets. In the Red Sea region, Yemeni Houthis launched an anti-ship missile at British tanker Marlin Luanda. As a result of a direct hit, a large fire broke out on the ship, which was put out only after 20 hours. Coalition aircraft also did not remain inactive and attacked the group's facilities at Ras Issa seaport. According to the statements of the American command, Houthi launchers were hit during the raid. Pro-Iranian units continue de facto cosmetic strikes on U.S. military bases in Iraq. Kamikaze drones attacked Ain al-Assad base twice, and Erbil Airport became another target. Pro-Iranian proxies are showing similar limited activity in Syrian Arab Republic. Drones were launched at Green Village facility and twice at al-Shaddadi military base.